What's going on, all you wild cartoons out there? It's your two favorite uncles back here for Cinefellas. I'm Logan Myers. It's my good mate over there. And I'm Henry Hill, and we're back tonight to talk about the new computer animated DreamWorks film. It's streaming on Netflix. It stars Jacob Tremblay, Carla Gigino, Paul Walter Hauser. We're talking about Orion and the Dark. What if he freaks out and the fabric of the universe is permanently altered? It's a thing that can happen. Uh, seems unlikely. Orion and the Dark. That's right. This comes from the screenwriter that you may have heard of. Charlie Kaufman wrote this film, and it's adapted from a kid's story picture book. Um, of course, you guys know Charlie Kaufman, Eternal Sunshine, and being John Malkovich, but the first time kind of writing for a family film, animated film, so it's totally different. Uh, but this film is a really nice set up with Jacob Tremblay and Paul Walter Hauser having to do with a kid trying to face his fears. A lot of us can relate to that being young kids or adults afraid of the dark and this is this young kid confronting that and of course the dark character shows up voiced by paul walter hauser Ooh, what a clever Ooh. movie this was you know it's like an adult themed kids movie dealing with a lot of complex issues that kids are dealing with you know not only being afraid of the dark but also dealing with anxiety not wanting to be around a lot of people always worrying about making a mistake in public and getting ridiculed it's kind of all the stuff that uh, you know all of us kids went through going through grade school, you know, you want to look cool. You want to be one of the cool kids and you always you get embarrassed when you, when you say something stupid or get made fun of. And, you know, it deals with all of that. This movie is very um, clever and it's an adventure too. It's about when Orion meets the dark and the darks played by Paul Walter Hauser. Um, you know, we remember him from kingdom. Of course he's in Cobra Kai, but of course, in all these big films, lately he does a great job voicing this role and really giving the character of the dark which is essentially you know the dark nighttime when the darkness creeps in he plays the character and they're able to deal with all these complex feelings and really have orion as this little boy talking out what he's feeling and it really does a good job and is a good movie to watch you know with your adolescent kids to kind of teach them you know that it's okay it's natural to feel all these feelings and it's okay to be afraid, but you know, the, the trick is you got to face your fears. You got to keep moving forward. And that's how you kind of get over it. You just kind of keep moving forward, acknowledge the fear, but don't let it stop you is basically what the message is. Even as adults, you know, pushing 40, taking something out of this, you know, facing our fears. We all had a great time with this. I love the animation. It reminded me much of like maybe a, you know, Pixar film. The characters are comparable to that too. And I like how they introduced other characters being like sweet dreams, unexplained noises, um, quiet characters you would see in the Pixar canon. It's really quite interesting and a fun adventure just being on this ride with these two main characters and what this kid's coming across and trying to overcome that. Yeah, it's really well done, you know, all across the board. All the characters are really cool. The nighttime entities. So, yeah, you mentioned a few of them. Insomnia. I, I thought he was really funny, the character. Yeah. Kind of like this fly that always, you know goes around when they're flying around and at night and it shows them fly into the house where people are laying down and sort of whispering in the the people's ears and getting them to wake up and not able to sleep anymore. It's it's a clever movie and a really smart way to kind of bring up these subjects with your with your children and kind of talk through it. You know, you don't we think about all these feelings, but we never really talk them out and fully flesh out how we feel and how we think that, you know, our children should you know, go about taking on these things. So for that, I applaud, you know, what I watched here. I was thoroughly entertained. They really do make it like an uh, an adventure film though, too. It's cool. Uh, the dark, the creature himself, you know, they sort of fly through the air and eventually they come up across light, of course. And light is this cool, happy guy who's, you know, basically the opposite of dark you know dark is known to be kind of scary of course whereas the lights like this cool guy everybody wants to be in the sun and play and it's about how those meet up and are able to you know teach orion that you know they each serve a, a great purpose and there there should be light and dark and everybody should get along and um coexist yeah for sure i had a really great time with this film i was actually looking forward to it because i just saw the voice cast i'm a beloved paul walter hauser he's always fantastic jacob tremblay's been in a bunch of movies getting older now 
Colin Hanks is in this, Angela Bassett. I mean, the list goes on and on. A lot of a great ensemble here. That's what drew me in. Charlie Kaufman being attached to writing this, huge fan of his. And then tackling a <laughs> you know family movie is a little different. But yeah, I thought the writing was really fantastic and that's interesting. A lot of great messages out of this that we all took something out of it and related to, you know, no matter what age you are. So yeah, really fun, heart-filled film that uh, I really had a great time with. Uh, the director did a great job in this. Mm -hmm. Animation is beautiful. I love the music. I love all the scenes in the sky. And overall, just had a really great time with this. I was really pleased with the final product. We both highly recommend Orion and the Dark. That's currently streaming on Netflix. So with that being said, I'm going to give Orion and the Dark, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Paul Walter. How's your hair pieces? It's the best animated film of the year so far. You know, it's taken that. And, you know, easy to see with the writer, Charlie Kaufman. Come on. What a, a great writer and coming over to animation and working with the first time director, Sean Charmants, who I thought did a great job. Everybody in this film, you know, did a great job. The voice cast, everybody was chosen very well. Yeah, there's a lot of adventure, a lot of things to learn in this. There's pretty much something for everybody that watches this, like you said. And that's why I'm giving Orion in the dark. I'm going to give it in a four and a half out of five. Colin Hanks hair pieces. I want to hear from all your scaredy cats out there. What did you like about Orion in the Dark? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite flick of 2024 thus far? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to stab subscribe. Also check out these wild ghouls on Facebook, X, and Instagram and our website, cinefells.com for the latest, greatest TV, movie, news, and reviews. And that's right. If you want to stream Orion in the Dark and watch it for yourself, let us know in the comment section. We love hearing from you. And we appreciate all the subscribers and love that we've gotten. We're going to be back really soon with more great TV and movie reviews. We have a lot to cover. We like to review several times a week. So stay tuned to this here channel. So until the next time, I'm Uncle Henry Hanks. And I'm Uncle Denny Venezuela. Signing out until the next movie review. Cheers. Cheers.